okay now we are in so when a self service user logs in you see this is an external user which will only be able to see these modules because this doesn't have any role. So this is a self-service user. He can only access to these particular modules, uh, which I've shown you also uh, last time. Uh, this doesn't have any incident. He can create the incident and only be able to see the incident that were created by him only. So this is one thing. And instead of actually logging here, uh, I um, explained you one more scenario, which was impersonating the users. So um, I've, I've shown you how to actually log in. Um, that is one thing. Let's see um, why ITIL manager doesn't have any role. Refresh. Oh, yeah, it has. So let's say I am right now service system administrator and I'm trying to impersonate with this guy. I don't have his login credentials, but yeah, I can impersonate using this particular feature and I'm impersonating with this ITIL manager. So I want to show you two different things. What ITIL manager can see because he has some roles and privileges. So he directly landed to this particular workspace. And what all modules he can see is, see ITIL manager will basically work on the tickets. Right. He will resolve, will close, he will try to, you know, rectify these tickets. So these are all of the things that this guy has. He has access to these all three modules, you know, incident problem change and the CMDB and service catalog and all of this, because these things are coming from the roles these that we have already like uh, cre uh, already created roles, Gaurav? No. Yeah, these are uh, by default uh, created inside service now. So okay. you can select from these roles. And you can create your own roles also, but ServiceNow basically gives you every possible role that you might think of. Let's say it's a developer role, it's an admin role, it's a security admin role, even it's an ITL role or Based some on that page role designer. Only they have already created like uh, the modules. Access also. Yes, all of these access you can try to you know see. Let's say someone is coming up uh, to you and saying, I'm not able to see these particular things or modules in left hand navigator, but my colleague is able to see. So you can actually have to, you, you'll have to go uh, to that particular guy and compare his roles with his colleagues, whether he have the exact same matching roles or not, or there are some other things that you need to do for troubleshooting, whether, you know, some of the ACLs are running specifically for him or that particular group he belongs to. Mm -hmm. So we have created um, these things. Uh, you can see this guy is now able to, you know, go to all of these things. Uh, ITIL is directly landed to a workspace page because yeah, ITIL managers will work on these things only. So coming to uh, one more part, we have, we are right now on workspace also. So this is basically service operations workspace. So initially when service now started, everyone was working, uh, what is my two six, just copy this. So people were actually working on this backend. This is native view. Oh, um, let me log out or let me end impersonation. Previously, when everyone was working, they were working on this particular screen. So whatever they wanted to do, do they were doing it from here, going to incident and, you know, creating these incident, resolving these incident, everything. But, uh, and then, um, it came out to be that end users can create incidents from a service portal. Uh, portal is something, so see, it is ideally very correct thing. Uh, even if you are an end user or a self-service user, it's not a good idea. This is a self-service user. It's not a good idea to give them access to this particular backend. This is first of all for developers or for admins and they don't want to come here or the, the or the business doesn't want them to come here so uh, usually they are redirected to this particular link so your company name and your domain name slash mm, the portal name this is sp service portal i will show you what it is and we can work on this later on but every end user uh, usually it's it's the business requirement does not have access to that backend page which we are seeing previously they only have access to this particular page so this is like uh, you know requesting page or creation of tickets page or anything so you can request something i'm a self service user 
I will be redirected to this page and I can create an incident or I can I can do anything from here. Can we help you? I can request for any of these things. What all of these are, these are catalog items and we are trying to request something from a service catalog. So let I me mean, try to create one incident from this service portal page. So this is the end user view or whatever the thing that end user will see. I will show you the whole chronology, how things will actually work. Give me a second. So an end user comes up over here. They try to create one incident. Okay, I, um, right, something like this. <clears throat> so it will give you suggestions also. You have something with your laptop, you can do it. Uh, if it is up to your requirement, you can select it and order it or, or you know, go to that particular catalog item. And if it doesn't, you can directly submit. End user will come here and submit um, his particular incident. And the next page he will be able to see is this. I hope all of you might be aware of this. Uh, that's how incident gets created. And then user comes here, you know, he types uh, like any progress or something. And he can see what is happening onto his ticket, right? Right now the state uh, priority is urgent and he can actually see what is happening to my tickets if we have any comments or something. And he can see the state is new. The ticket is not assigned to anyone, right? What ITILs will do or the backend users will do, they will you know, try to, previously what they were doing is they were refreshing the screen. Okay, we have one incident created from this particular user let me open it okay he's having an issue with his laptop let me give uh, him a replacement so he will assign this to a particular group let's say hardware group he will assign this to a particular group and a person from the hardware group also let's say ta -ta -ta -ta. Hmm. star star we can see who all are member of this particular group let's say he assigned this to fred letty and he saved this particular thing so now the state will become in progress and that person can see instantly that his particular incident state is now in progress so that so is one that, thing uh, yep. like for that user the incident creation will be completely different right like for the admin it is completely different the yes exactly so for the backend people, it will actually be completely different. He is only able to see these things, only these particular fields or these options. But uh, the... Gauro, can you uh, can you repeat this once for like create one more request? No? Yeah, let me do that. So so end users actually come to this particular screen, um, okay. which is a portal. We call it a portal, or you can call it a landing page for end users, which does okay. not belong to the system or you know, that does not have a specific privileges. So they come up here. Uh, they can request for anything. They can request for a new laptop. They can request for a leave. Anything that, that they can do over here. Let me show you what all things we have. They can request for password reset. They can, you know, uh, click on this new hire form and they can do anything. So let me just, uh, for one more thing, um, example. Let me create one more incident. And what all you can see is in hardware, they can request for all these things. I want a new device or, you know, I want a new uh, laptop or I want a charger replacement or anything. They can request from me, mobiles and printers and office peripherals and all these things. So these are all the things that an end user can do. So these are coming by default uh, from ServiceNow in your personal developer instance. We call them as a... Um, so this is a service catalog. Basically, you see over here, this is service catalog. And these are all of the catalog items. So you can search for any specific catalog item, but whatever you want is, let's say, computer. And if it if it has something, it will give you. If you hit enter. So lunar laptop, you can, whatever contains a computer, it will show you all of these things. Uh, and also, you can create incidents from here. So one incident we created, it is coming up over here as my open incident. Sorry for that. And I can also create one more incident um, from here. So I will just go to the service catalog, request something, or even I can, you know, try to find create incident from here. And hit enter. 
it will show me what all things we have as a catalog item. So this is a record. I can directly go here and create an incident. Okay. A medium quality. <clears throat> something like this. So according to the uh, thing you type in description, it will give you try to find an exact match for your uh, request and try to give you the options which you can actually select from whether you want a new email ID or new email account or something. But yeah, we don't want anything right now. We can quickly submit. So this guy submitted one ticket or one incident saying my email is not working. So he can see this particular screen and this ticket in the back end is created inside service now. Uh, you go back, go back to the list view, not here, over here. So we had 70, now we have 71, which one is now created? Yeah, the 1004 is now created saying my email is not working. So this guy come up and, you know, assign this to, uh, do we have email team or we have software group? So he can select the category, right? It was inquiry or help or something. He can select, okay, this is a requirement for help. Uh, what an email help he need. And he assigned to the required or specific team that he's aware of. The backend guy, let me see whether we have any of these um, things. So if I try to find email, uh, I try to find a group uh, that is working for email. So we don't have any. So let me try to find software group. So I try to find software group and assign this particular thing to the software people and I will save this. So now the request will actually change from new to in progress state and that guy can also be able to see it in progress state and he can. Gaurav, one more question, uh, like the users which you are created, like uh, we can't uh, see in our. Uh, in your instances, I... yes. Oh, okay. So you'll have to create them exactly the same way you can refer to this particular recording so, and you like can... the, so service now also provides that uh, mechanism right only like which are you are created only in, with your instance you can see that uh, roles yes. are... correct so in my particular instance i created in in this instance 267906 i created four users oh, okay. i tell service so, like, which are like currently which i am are we are seeing these are like uh, those incidents are created for all the inc instance Yes, the 67 incidents that you have in your screen, mm -hmm. they came out of the box. So okay. they are demo or dummy instance, uh, dummy, dummy records or dummy incidents that you can play around on. So okay. uh, yeah, it's not a good idea to you know give them blank yeah, okay. data without the data and instance so they cannot work. So the people who are trying to learn, they also give them the demo data they can play around on. So you have 67, I have 71 because I created so many new ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so when this when I, yeah. just a question whenever a company wants to uh, create their own users or groups then they have to be blank blank data basically right so they yes do not exactly need... they do not need uh, demo data so what will they do uh, the question is uh, what will they do with all this data uh, this is completely useless data for them right, right. so what they can do is uh, they can request an instance from service now they can raise a request that i want an instance without the demo data so that i can create my own data or what they can do is they can just go here and just delete this particular data uh, these records, but that will be, you know, they'll have to delete from incident, problem, change, other modules, other records, sys yeah, users. So, We're seeing so yeah. many sys users, right? 71 users we had, no use. So they will ask service now for an instance without the demo data. So uh, this is what we have created. Let me quickly uh, close this particular request uh, for you guys so you can see. Uh, this is now resolved. I will give the resolution code, okay? The issue is solution provided uh, and something I can do. Please ignore any of the spelling mistakes. And this guy will be able to see that, okay, my incident is now quickly resolved. And thank you for that. And he can, you know, either he can reopen it or he can directly close it from here. If he doesn't close, the incident will automatically get closed uh, according to the configuration that were made in the system. So this is one thing we have created four users. We have given them roles and these users had created, let, let's say self-service user has actually created uh, one or two tickets. 
the channel why it selected a self service channel because we created them from this service portal the portal which is only given to end users and one more thing i want to quickly show you <laughs> yeah this is getting interested and we we are actually running short on time so previously i, I told you right uh, people tend to come up to this particular incident list in this back end we call it as back end or native view or classic view this is classic you can see let me know if you cannot see because i'm able to see this zoom banner over here so this is classic view of service now but in nowadays they have given to these agents the agents that will be working on your tickets or the incident they have given them a workspace service operation agents uh, service operation workspace so um, if i refresh i will be logged out of this particular itel i will have to go back and log in yeah i will have to impersonate again with itel but yeah you, you got the gist of it so that guy will go over here so service now have uh, given them a new way of working you should not go on the back end of the classic view you have your own workspace you just go here and find your tickets or incidents or anything that is there um, that are assigned to you so that guy will come up to the workspace it is exactly the same actually and they can work on these filters assigned to the system administrator or activist true i removed one filter and i got all of these things uh, which says this guy and he can just directly click on this particular incident okay this incident is uh, someone was working on it okay this is resolved uh, i can ask for the feedback or i can ask for some of the questions and and he can actually work on this workspace so this is a new advanced um, way of working on this incident this gives you the overview a summary of what the incident was about who created it you can contact so this is completely agents thing this is assigned to fred lady uh, it is a holistic view of the incident obviously that's how the agents work uh, they can click on this details and they can see all of the details these are all of the same fields that we were able to see right on this particular incident form let me bring it over here so so gaurav like if you want to impersonate as a particular user like it will not ask for any username or password right no it will not as you are a admin yeah we are admin only admins can impersonate uh, yeah. and uh, like at that uh, and we can on behalf of them we can create incidents also correct we can do that but instead of spoiling anyone's record or anyone's uh, so so there are people right there there are yeah. some some nasty people that try to do something everything gets recorded inside yeah. service now so whatever you try to change let let's say i try to change this particular field to okay i don't want to work on this and and i am personated with that guy and and you know i change this but it will be presented over there and it will say notes. okay yes. this guy actually changed this thing and how i can see is either from work notes or somewhere and even from history uh from the history i can see that this particular description was previously this let me show you exactly how we actually do these things so there are some uh, some elements that try to see so see old value was this and new value was this and this was and done by this changed. particular guy <laughs> yeah so you can never run out of it so yeah. this is a good thing that service now has provided mm. so this is completely for agents they can work on this uh, let me go back to the record which is not resolved actually my laptop is broken this one so this workspace is a very good thing provided to agents uh, they can work on this you know they can type the comments uh, what's your issue or something they can post the comment that guy will be able to see let me go to that guy go to his incidents the laptop wala incident and i can see uh, that he have posted some comments agent now agent is working on his workspace this particular workspace he is you know communicating with that guy he can also contact him see the uh, so a holistic view he can see everything summary or the impact or, or he can add the cause or anything he can put up the details see the details what is happening and he can also see the activity what someone did so previously it was new someone system admin was changed to in progress and this guy posted these two three comments and everything so they can work over here and they can quickly resolve it so while resolving they can they'll have to provide the resolution code but please you understand this thing everything that is coming over here it is coming from the fundamental screen which is uh, this guy so if you open this 
everything things will definitely become advanced things will definitely become more uh, beautifully designed you know there will be more ui action, uh, uh, ux or ui things that will be implemented but whatever these resolution codes and resolution nodes this is coming from here so see i updated something ah this thing i also want to show you if anyone updates something from somewhere this uh, and you're working on this form. So let's say this form is open in front of you and anyone updated something. So these four fields were updated by system administrator. You can see this blue icon, which says this guy has modified this particular field while you were working on this incident and the state got changed and it got resolved when everything happened. So, so if, blue you, shows that. Yeah, if you see something got updated, it will come up with a blue icon in front of that particular field and before making any change it is a good idea to refresh let's say you are also working on that ticket and that guy also working on that ticket so it's a good idea to give it a refresh and then save your changes so this is for today's class and yeah it was an interesting one uh, i also liked it um, we will cover uh, some of these things uh, tomorrow mm, where we will try to you know modify the form and we will configure the form this particular form we will have so many things please refer this particular recording mm, prasad will share the link with you guys and you can try to implement these things to create these four users five users whatever you want change their password try to log into this uh, their instance using an incognito window or a different browser let's say edge uh, try to see what all privileges these guys are having what they can do right how they uh, what all options they are able to see see admin can see all of these things but these guys are not able to see some things try to create some incidents break some incident do whatever you want this is your pdi no one is going to you know call names on you and more you break things more you will learn and yep this is it for today's class anyone have any questions they can ask just, just wanted to know what is the way to uh, import like users or groups into this service now? Yes, uh, that is a good question because you will not be creating these users manually. Uh, you can have thousands of users. It's it's a bad idea. So you can import the users. Uh, there are multiple ways. Uh, you can import the users from the Excel sheet provided to someone. I will uh, give this particular demo to you tomorrow also. Let me note it down. Uh, importing users from Excel sheet. Uh, or rest also rest call also yeah rest okay. apis we can do that we can also integrate uh to other tools also let's say uh you know there is an uh user directory which we call uh ldap ldap has some users inside it mm -hmm. we can integrate with ldap and it will automatically fetch users for you and add those users directly inside service now so i will try to show you so these all these things uh and comes up in integration module. I will show you how to do everything in, in integration module, but let's just go step by step. Uh, we just created these four users manually and added roles. Yeah, one thing that you'll have to keep in mind, don't add roles directly to your user. It is not a good idea. ServiceNow suggests to add groups. roles to a groups and assign these groups to these users. It's not a good idea. Uh, for training purpose, I've shown you uh, to add these roles directly to a user, but you will have to create a group, add those rules to that group, and add this group to this particular user or add this user to this particular group. This is a good idea. Uh, why this is a good idea, I will tell you in the next class. Please uh, also note this question and remind me to answer this one to you. Why adding roles to the groups? and not directly to the users and uh, if you have two minutes could you like please just look my instance why i am yes, not please. able to see any records share the screen okay can you see my screen can you, yeah i can maximize this uh you logged in with which user mm. Why it is not showing user? Previously, it was showing the icon, but when I shared, okay, no problem. Can you can you remove this incident keyword from left hand navigator and click on all, or, or just directly load, reload the page? Okay. Show all of the modules that you have. 
yes so for an example system properties spelling mm -hmm. basic configuration or my company and everything is there mm -hmm. and what was your issue so if i go to the incident maybe i broke something so <laughs> no that is you're not logged in okay so you have your own instance right that's and a good thing admin. it is admin uh -huh. if i go to incidents all it doesn't show me any records. I think previously it was showing. Okay. Can you try to create one? Quickly create and submit one. Short description, test, order. Probably the instance that you have requested, uh, you've not requested demo data into it. I think data is not there, but, but probably. Uh, but these are the data is already there. Caller, if I submit. Now you, so. yeah, you don't have any data inside it. Can you click on problems <clears throat> and try to look problems? Wait. Remove S also at the end. Problem. Click on all. Yeah, you don't have any demo data. Probably you have requested an instance without the demo data. data maybe. Okay. You can create Sorry. your records and create your data also. But yeah, this is also a good example. We can utilize your instance just to show what comes up with the demo data and what come, doesn't comes up without. So, no. let me, I will try to get another instance with, with all the data also. So then, yep. Thank <laughs> you, Abhishek. And yeah. Thank you, everyone. That was a nice session. We'll meet tomorrow. Bye bye. bye.